Jacking you. Yeah. 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 Oh, I like I like this one. See that? It looks it looks like it's opening and closing, right? Kind of. <laughs> no. Anyway. No? Okay. Hello everybody. Um Hi. Sorry you had to see Sparks' is opening. Um But we Welcome to another accidental let's I play. Yes, and we are going ALP. to be building a nice little dock. A little yeah, a little dock and a boathouse. Um which is one of our challenges. Yes. Nice little nice little harbour. Uh the, the grass is a little bit ungrown here because uh, we did some reshaping. Yes, it was a little bit too steep over Indeed here. Indeed, we did. Um, but but that's okay. It's our land, and we can do what we like with it, right? <laughs> uh, we haven't done any of this off camp. Like we haven't done a. We haven't really thought about this at all. Basically, we're just gonna just gonna go with it yeah. and see what happens. Yeah. Yes. And whilst we do so, we have some topics of discussion to bring up. Sparks, yes. you have the list because I do not. I have the lit. Oh, okay. Um, I don't, but I can remember most of the things. I think. Good. I guess. Okay, I think we should start the... off with. Is it cool steel gaming or cold steel gaming for you? Cold, cold steel gaming. Okay. Him. You met him. I did. He, in a shop. He came. That you worked. He came at. into the in my place of work. He came into my place of work. Um, I mentioned this in my Sparks Plays Minecraft that came out uh, on. Wednesday. Yes. And uh, yeah, basically, um, I work in a retailer's, as I've mentioned before, uh, that sells electronic -y goods, things like that, computer parts. And uh, he, he, this guy came in, this kid, and he was sort of like, oh, what's uh, computer parts? What's computer parts? Uh, and I said, they're parts for computers. <laughs> no, um, but we were chatting a little bit because uh, he was sort of saying I, he needed a gaming PC. I was giving him sort of my spec as a reference. And uh, then he was asking questions about things like Sony Vegas and uh, and Fraps, which are editing and recording softwares, respectively. Um, so I asked him if he was planning to do Let's Playing. It turns out he already does Let's Play as a channel. It's um, Cold Steel Gaming. His name's Adam, uh, which is his screen name as well. Very inventive. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he mostly does Xbox gaming, but you're welcome to check him out. We'll have a link to his channel in the yes. description. He also I feel very... gave us a bit of a shout out, which was very nice of him. And he did, yeah. He um, him like I, I got home from work and he'd already made and released a video telling this very story, but from his perspective. Yeah, it was kind I feel of very weird useless. because when Sparks was at work, I was sort of just checking to see if anyone had commented. There was like this message from this guy and he said, Hey, it's me. I met at Sparks' name of work here. And it was like, um, okay. Um, yeah. Well, I sent I sent you a text um, saying yeah, but I read you may get a comment. before I got the text. Yeah, I know. So, um, it was a bit confusing fast. for me. But, um, yes, yeah, so go check him out. And um, speaking yeah. of promoting other people, why not let us promote ourselves? We have been doing um, a different Let's Play. A Let's Play that is not Minecraft. Um, some of you may have already seen it. It is called Evoland. Um, ep it's awesome. Episode 2 is due out in two days from the release of this episode, I believe. Yes. So, um, if you haven't watched it, I recommend you go have a look at it because should we give them fun. the title of the next episode to to get them yes. salivating and wondering what on earth is going to go on the title of the next episode Eva land is revenge of the sugar plum fairy oh so, yeah uh, <laughs> nothing to do find out play. why but, you're gonna have to watch it but, <laughs> very little you will find out why in the next episode which is in two days which gives you plenty of time yeah. to go watch the first episode absolutely link in the description mm. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm really enjoying that game, yeah. and uh, I don't even have to play it. I just sit there and comment. So you know, if something's difficult, I can just pretend, pretend like um, like it's just Crazy Man's fault. But I think if I'd been playing, we'd have probably not gotten really far at all yet. Yeah. 
Yeah, the, the game in, so. involves sort of the evolution of the game. It, it changes over time. Yeah, which um, is quite interesting because something that is also changing over time is consoles. Let's talk about... <laughs> Nice segue. Oh yeah. See, this is it's been smooth sailing so far. No one have even noticed. Right? Did you notice? You I might want to save some conversation topics for when we've actually got a bit of doctor show. Oh no, it's fine. Did you notice how well I segued between someone else's promotion and self promotion? It was pretty good. Um, yeah. Let's sleep quickly, actually. Snoozing. Oh. <laughs> You just teleported into that bed for me. You just sort of slid from the corner of my screen. You were already down, lying down. You just went, whoop. That's how I get into bed. I just slide in. <laughs> um, so, yes. Uh, E3 happened. And oh. Yes. Oh. What are you doing? I was thinking about maybe a bit of a border. Well, why would you want to board you? How would you be able to get to the boats? I don't know. Clearly I'm just a fool. I mean, I'd have a couple of like posts so you can tie your boat to them, even if you can't actually tie your boat to them. That's a good idea. Not on me. I worry about you, I really do. I'm doing fine, man. I replaced the wood. You, you break things. E three conference. You break things and I fix them. <laughs> so you say placing it there. <laughs> Let me give you a hand with my axe. It's good, I'm done. Um, yeah, before I get distracted about, about Sparks doing silly things again, um, the Xbox One didn't go very well. It didn't go down well with people at all. Um, they seem to have annoyed quite a lot of people. And um, to be honest, if they don't change a couple of things between now and release, they are insane. Because has need... it not actually been released then? No, 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 no. Um, it's due to be released. The Xbox One is due to be released November, but that's in America, so we'll probably get it later. We'll probably still uh -huh. get it before Christmas, because it's quite a good marketing ploy to release a console before Christmas. Um, yeah. And the. PS4 hasn't actually got a release date out yet. They just said this holiday season. Um, oh, okay. But yeah, after the Xbox thing didn't go down very well, uh, the PS4 one was more or less just taking the piss out of Xbox, really. Which, I saw a video, it was very funny. Yeah, there, there'll be a link in the description to um, Sony's response more or less to Microsoft's um, inability to share content. <laughs> Which is very funny. And I recommend checking out. Um, there. In terms of specifications and things, consoles seem... Uh oh, nice. I might just die. Hang on. Oh wow, my, my right click got stuck and there was this beautiful arc of about 16 ender pearls. Actually, it was 10 ender pearls. Just flew through the air. I'm fine actually, so sorry for interrupting. Go ahead. No, I don't think I want to go on anymore. I don't think I just don't want to go on. Um, how far are we bringing this dock round? How far? Yeah. I don't know. Cause I'm generally a little confused about the whole thing. I was going to bring it around further than this, but we've already sort of put a log there. Well, we can move it. Would this sort of shelter bay bit here be sort of... for the smaller boats? <laughs> I guess so. We should point out we're building this here because... And I'm just going to walk over here so that everything loads. Our base is just over there, so it make, kind of makes sense, you know, proximity. And I have pearls, don't I? Just just, just the one. There we go. Not not ten. Um, as you can see from the world, which is going to load, honest. Th 
that, that basically this is like a little cove um, there's it rings around here and then there's an opening just over here that leads off to the main ocean so you know in, in ordinary oceans and things you tend to have docks in coves because they're they're more sheltered from the waves you get less choppy waters within the cove so the docks gonna be there and the raging ocean <laughs> Minecraft is famous for its raging oceans is all the way over there uh, yeah that, that looks kind of good from over here actually good that's what yes. we want what were you saying about PS4 um, did you finish no uh, I was basically saying that the specifications between PS4 and the Xbox one look more or less the same um, for anybody who's interested in that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But the PS4 looks like it's got a lot more to offer in terms of indie games and um, just general common sense in all honesty. <laughs> Yeah, they seem they seem a little bit more open to. I I mean thing. I don't know if you remember like a couple of years back there was um this there was a scandal when uh people from an or people who claimed to be part of Anonymous hacked uh, Sony's uh, PSN network because Sony had sort of said if just because you own a PlayStation Three doesn't mean that you own like the hardware that's inside it or something like that and had yeah. sued someone who basically hacked apart their console to do what they want they kind of seem like they've learned from that and have sort of almost done a u-turn on that policy because they playstation yeah although they haven't said anything about um you're free to sort of hack it or whatever they do. Do you want this to extend out further, this dock? Um, we. C I was gonna do it like that. I was just gonna leave it like there. But actually, two looks good. Then. Yeah. They seem to have learnt their lesson, <coughs> which is nice. And mm. yeah, I I think larger game companies can learn from. Game companies like Mojang, I mean, Mojang has released this game as free to edit open source and things like that. I don't think there's really been any negatives to that. They've yeah. had free advertising all over YouTube. Um, they've got a great community as a result, you know, True. I think. Yeah. If that... the larger game companies could learn from the smaller ones about just the generally being a bit more fun about your games. You know, yeah. gaming is a pleasurable activity sh and game makers should should have the fun and the stuff words yeah do you an enderman yeah he's right here yep um i'm doing a roof here i'm gonna ask you what you think of it in a bit but not yet because it's not done do you think we should have logs in the, in the corners log struts um we can wait till you've seen my roof though I'm okay glad you i'm so glad That was there for a reason. Why did you do <laughs> Was it? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not used to this recording malarkey. It's been too long. My what else did we want to talk about? Going dead. There were other things on our list, I swear. There were, and I'm failing to... Oh! Uh, ultra Hardcore in Minecraft. Oh yeah, yeah. What? Ultra hardcore in Minecraft. That's the one. Not in Minecraft. Oh. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, that's uh, uh apparently Apparently a lot of people have been complaining yeah. about it. Yeah. But um uh, people complain whenever anything new happens, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, I think they, they always do. Potions potions have been nerfed. As a I don't really think that's so much as a result though. I think that's something that they probably would have done anyway. Like, uh, regen potions now heal you slower, and instant health potions now give you less hearts back. thing is, um, when do people ever use this stuff? They don't... The only time you use them, really, is in custom maps. 
And I can understand mm. why that would sort of unbalance well, maps. Well, I, I, I was thinking if about you're a map that. maker, you should expect the game to change. Well, I was, I, I was thinking about the map thing. Isn't it possible to make custom custom potions now with, say, I don't know, regen yeah. four and jump two on a potion? That's true. Yeah. So, so isn't this issue completely fucking irrelevant if you're making yeah. maps? For though, by the way, we should backtrack a little bit. For those of you who don't know what ultra hardcore is, there's a group of Minecrafters um, on YouTube called the Minecrack, and they called the Minecrack. They're part of the, the Minecrack. <laughs> they, yeah, they. We will link to Minecrack Network, I suppose, yeah. uh, in the description if you want to go check them all out. In but case uh, you they invented a new game mode called ultra hardcore, where basically you're playing in hard, but you can't regen health. Uh, through eating, like if my hunger bar is full like now and I had two hearts off, they wouldn't come back. You, the only way to get it is either through health potions or golden apples. And the recipe for golden apples have been changed from gold nuggets to gold ingots. Um, so the ultra hardcore in Minecraft, what they've done now, by the way, I like the roof. Good. What they've done now is that um, there's a game mode option that stops you naturally regening health. Game rule. Wait. Game rule, yep, yeah, a game rule option which stops you regening health naturally through hunt through your uh, food bar. Um, they've changed the crafting recipe for apples, which should stockpile some, by the way. Yeah. Um, so it's now ingots rather than nuggets, which is sort of it's nine times as expensive to make them now. Uh, but who, again, who really crafts them? The only thing you, you never use you never for... use golden apples in a survival setting and in a game no, setting. You it doesn't do... matter because it's all gonna... it's all spawned in. In a survival setting is for trans. Uh, changing villagers, which is probably the only thing that's, that's going to change. Oh yeah, yeah. But that's not really a big deal because I mean, I feel like you should use some darker wood for the roof, maybe. Well, I was kind of getting a shape and then gonna have a look, but I don't like the struts. I'm gonna. No, say. me neither. Don't like them. Why did you put them there? Um, there's some there's some iron in the in the furnace if you want to make an axe. Um, hang on. More slabs. More slabs. More slabs. More slabs. More slabs. Well, um, I know they mentioned on the Mind Crack podcast that people had been complaining, like for Race to the Wall stuff, that the Mind Crackers knew nothing. Sort Come of here. about survival still. style stuff. Or um, PvP style stuff, even like that. Yeah. And I was just thinking, as as they were saying that, in my head, I was thinking it was suggested by a video who's part of the Mindcrack team. This is Race for the Wall stuff, by the way. Um, it. Do you want to explain Race for the Wall? No. If you don't know what it okay. is. It's like Minecraft Spellbound Wiki. Caves, but Minecraft Wiki. It's like the, the Spellbound Caves we're playing. Yeah, Minecraft Wiki. <laughs> Race, uh, for, Race for Wall. It's a fun PvP game. The, which was, yeah, the original concept was by a video who's part of the Mind Crack team. Uh, Goob then made a couple of changes, and he's the guy who created Mind Crack. And um, then it was implemented by Vex, who is also part of the Mind Crack team. So, yeah, <laughs> is he? Yeah. Uh, very recently, he hasn't done anything, but oh, okay, he's like there, but he's not there. If that makes sense. Just like Vex always is. He's there, but but you don't know until it's too late. <laughs> yeah, he ba he yeah, hasn't done a, anything. He's a lovely guy. Vex is a yeah. lovely guy. He hasn't done anything there. He's doing his DevCon first of um. His, yeah. That map that I want to play. No one's going to want to prank him. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything you need from the storage room other than glass while I'm here? Yeah, probably. Well, I'll come back then. Yeah, we're thinking about maybe adding a lighthouse over here as well. At some point in the future. That's not a bed. This is a bed. Yeah, lots lots of talking. That's good. Um, it's all very interesting. I definitely am I'm not buying an Xbox One. No. Th oh, that sounds actually, like a very that's, sincere that's thing. That's another. That sounds like I'm not going to buy one, but I probably wouldn't have bought one anyway because I don't play Xbox games. Um, 
there are more games that I like the look of for the PS4 anyway. But one thing I just do want to have a small complaint about. It's the price, right? Yeah. Now, the um, Xbox One in America is $500, I believe. You serious? And the PS4 is $400. Now, the price in pounds and sterling is £430 or I think it's £350 which if you do an exchange rate is massively overpriced. The British price. Yeah, the British price is massively overpriced. I'm thinking we should have chests in here for boats. And like a boat rack. Yes, okay. Oh, I want to change where you're putting it if you're doing it. Fair enough. Have some more boats. Um, yes. My complaint is partially that we're having to pay more. And I was actually getting quite annoyed about this yesterday. And then I remembered that America is a crazy place. And that... They don't show VAT. Yeah. Is that what you're that's, saying? Yeah. That's the price before tax, whereas it's the British price after tax. And also, Britain has a higher tax rate than America, I believe. Um, okay, I was, fair enough. I was speaking to some American friends of ours, and apparently their tax rate is about 8%. Or 8.25 percent. Whereas and that's why you shouldn't get angry about things before fully understanding. Whereas them. ours is 20 percent. So I recalculated it, um, sort of taking into consideration tax, and we're still paying 50 quid more, which is really yeah. That's if you take for shipping. It's shipping, my friend, because you know no, you know bullshit. The, like bullshit. Square Square X boxes no, 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 are no, no. very they're very inefficient for, for shipping because because they're, they're not a uniform shape it's very hard to get you know they're, they're not neatly packageable like like bananas you just can't get them neatly packaged there's lots of air gaps left because oh, they're, they're cubes the thing is where is all they're this boxes. thing well where is all this shit built it's all built in china yeah pretty much i know and geographically about the shipping we are closer to china <laughs> yeah Oh, it's oh. a sad, sad day. I mean... Yeah, so... Yeah. That, that was my the, only complaint about price, but that's for both of them. Ba it basically you know, means Britain is paying more for a PS4 than Americans are paying for the Xbox One. Which yeah. kind of sucks. And we have a higher cost of living in general, which sucks doubly. Do you know, until a couple of years ago, when it came up, I was, I was sat with a friend on... Uh, something like this. Uh, I always called them Quays because it's spelt Q U A Y, but apparently they're called Keys. So, as you can yeah, see, Sparks. I think Quay special. sounds so much better than Key. A key is something else. <laughs> that looks pretty good from here, actually. I like that. All right. Well, it looks like we're pretty much out of time, guys, but uh, that looks pretty good, I think. From over here, it looks pretty nice. Uh, up close looks pretty good as well, I think. It's a, it's a fairly simple building. That looks but, nice. Uh, it, yeah, I like it that. It should be, could be the start of something. We've got, um, we've got a nice place to set out from now. Uh, we might work on it a little further later. Maybe add some add some greenery. A couple of trees would probably look quite nice around it. I don't know. It's very plain around the edge of the water here. Not very many trees at all. But uh, and maybe some lighting, water. some lighting, things like that. But uh, I think that, that'll do for today. Um, thank you very much for watching, and uh, we will see you all in the next episode. Be sure to check out Everland coming out in two days as well. Yes, go watch it. Go watch the first episode if you haven't. First episode, yep. It is pretty good, honestly. You promise. And if you don't, we don't want to hear about it. <laughs> uh, yeah. If we don't, we still <laughs> want you to like it. 
Yeah, exactly. Um, no, yeah, thanks yeah, so much. This. And uh, as you can tell, we're still very bad at saying goodbye. We just don't like leaving you. It's night time. Uh, bye. Bye.